Today we're going to make a bolo tie. It's going to be a football player. The block of wood is two and three quarters inches, one and a quarter, one and three quarters. It doesn't really matter the exact size dimensions as long as it's close. All humans are not made the same size. First thing we want to do is just take our knife. We're just going to level out the back. It doesn't matter what we make, they all start the same. We've got to take and round it off a little bit so we can have a nice surface to start our face in. So this is aspen. I know most people like to carve on basswood, but around here you have to buy it. Aspen grows uh, in our mountains. And we can go get a tree that's fresh fallen and our wood is free that way. And when you're just going to give them away, that's good enough. All right, we're about ready to start carving now. Okay, that's the first step. Back flat, you want it to look like a mailbox and a loaf of bread. Now, this is not really my, it, it's the way that I carved, but the person who taught me was Bill Birch, who was, well, it was Chuck Loveless who taught me, who was Bill Birch's first carving partner. When his wife got sick, he uh, couldn't go, and then he picked up Gary Dollar. So if you've ever been to any of the National Scout Jamborees, you'll see those two that sent and carved for hours for the boys. Now, when you watch them, they're always carving with a pocket knife. They use, they use a tree brand, Boker, or a Bulldog. All right, there's the top of it. Now, we're going to come down about a third of the way. We're just going to make a nice flat cut going across the top. You see it's a little bit crooked. I'm just going to straighten it out right there. You come around put your tip in. Now don't bend your knife or it will break your tip off. Now instead of pulling all the way down, lay your knife down. If you pull it through, you'll come through with a force and that tip will end up in your ring finger. Don't ask me how I know that. If you make that same mistake, make sure you take your re uh, wedding ring off right away. So I'll lay it down again, pop that end out. Now you got a nice stop cut just to take them. Now you notice that your helmet's almost done. You want to come down just a little bit so you can have a pair of eyebrows. There's the top of your eyes. There's the bottom of your nose. So we got to break that out just a little bit. You can go down on a 45 degree cut. Nothing too hard here. The knife that I'm using is a healthy knife. Uh, I like the little shorter blade on it. They make one, well there's two of them that are bigger than this one. But this one's easy to control. It holds a very nice edge on it. Alright, so now i got my eye cavity carved out. On this one here we're going to make a very simple nose. We're going to come down, put it on a 45. Okay, now our nose is too high here, so we're going to pop down. We're going to put in our little side, because our nose is narrower at the top than it is at the base. We can't have flat eyebrows, so we're just going to take and round that just a little bit. Okay. Got to take that down so our nose doesn't look quite so crooked. Square it up just a little bit. Put a little more detail on the nose. Okay, make that cut straight. Okay, now we're about halfway done, maybe a little bit more. Take your knife and put it on a 45 degree angle. We're just going to pop this uh, off a little bit right here. Nice triangle. Then you got to bring this down here. So it's just a very simple face, it makes a nice little scout bolo tie. Put your knife right here at the base of your nair. See the angle that that knife blade goes in on. And then come up here on the same type of an angle and bring it down. Now you have a cheek and a lip coming in and out. Okay. Couple more cuts. 
Okay, now you're ready to put in the mouth. Since this is just going to be a quick little easy demonstration, we're going to put in a basic mouth. Now, if you haven't ever carved before, you want to do about 10 of these and keep your first one. And then notice what your 10th one looks like because it's all memorized cuts. Okay, we're going to put in a little what they call the snot trough from Pete LeClaire. That's his term for that. Okay, now we've got a lot of bulk in here. You can leave it, but it looks a little nice if you just put your tip in there. Hollow it out a little bit. Put a little bit more detail into it. Clean it out so you have smooth cuts. Now, if you're carving and you're getting a lot of little hairs left, you need to take your knife and run it on the strop. You got to have a nice sharp knife. Now we have our mouth that's in there. We got to put a little bit of a bottom lip. So put your knife right there. Now we're just going to work that down. Okay, at this point, flip it over. We're going to hollow out the back, make it so he has a chin and a jawbone. So I just like to clean that out a little bit there. Put your knife at the base of the helmet. Come in. Do the same on this side. Just clean that out. Okay. Now we have a little bit too much here, so we're just going to clean it off. Continue that down. Continue this down. Okay, if you're just learning to carve, you want to get online and order you a carving glove. It will save you a lot of band-aids and stitches in the meantime. Okay, now we're almost done, but we got a very blocky forehead. So put your knife right there at the middle of his nose, create a V, and then that piece there will come right out. Now we got to round his eyebrows out because we don't want to have a Frankenstein forehead. Now we can put a, carve his eyes in with no problem, but when we're learning, let's just keep it uh, a nice basic carving. And that's what you have right now. At this point, you're ready to go out and you're gonna drill a hole through the top of it. Right here is the distance that you want. So you have a little wood left. That is probably about a quarter inch hole. Get a par piece of paracord. It needs to be 40 to 42 inches long. Put a piece of wire through it, pull it up through the hole, and then just carve you a set of ends, and uh, you're ready to go. Now, there's different faces. Not when I carved eyes on. Well, both of these I carved faces and heads on, but it's just a very basic pattern for a football player, and they make a very nice bolo tie for scouts. Thanks for watching.